It was 1860 when the movement began, a cultural phenomenon that would shape all of Europe and change the way we think about art forever. When I think about Impressionism, I think about the works of the great French Impressionist artists who challenged the presumption that art needed to be dark and detailed and hard-edged. When I was a young artist, uh, just getting started, I began experimenting with the techniques of the Impressionist painters. I think the use of light of such masters as Claude Monet, Renoir, Sisley, and Pizarro influenced me immensely. Their ability to blend color, utilize dappled light, create moods of sunset and sunrise. The use of wet streets and misty mornings became a part of the visual vocabulary of the Impressionists, and I began to experiment with those same effects myself. As I contemplated exhibiting my Impressionist works, I desired to have complete creative freedom, so I began to utilize a brush name and to sign my signature completely different from the Thomas Kincaid signature of my more academic studio style. The name I chose for these paintings was Robert Girard. I liked it because it had a French sound to it, and yet each name had two syllables, just like Thomas Kincaid. I developed a signature for the Girard paintings and began to sign these Impressionist works with my new signature. Thomas Kincaid is proud to present two historical works created during his exploration of Impressionism, A Summer's Morning and Momart. A Summer's Morning is a classic work that recalls the settings once portrayed by the masters of Impressionism. The play of light on water intrigues and challenges Tom, much as it challenged the Impressionist masters a century ago. Like Monet, Tom loves to set up his easel on a riverbank and attempt to capture the sparkle of sunlight as a gentle breeze ripples on a stream. The reflections of sailboats dance on the crystal waters. Tom uses the same painting techniques perfected by the artists of the French Impressionistic period. Tom says that he tries to make his brush dance on the canvas, much as Monet's brush danced when he painted outdoors over a century ago. The second offering for this unique release is a painting entitled Momat. Every artist's heart beats faster in Momat, where one is surrounded by the heritage of the giants of the art world. It was an historic moment when Tom set up his easel and canvas on the sidewalks of Momat, a city that was once considered the artistic capital of the world. Tom follows in the footsteps of Toulouse-Lautrec, Manet, and all the others who made this section of Paris the symbol of the artistic lifestyle. Happily, Parisian women still stroll the boulevards with parasols in hand. This gave Tom the opportunity to retain a certain historic flavor to his impression of Momat. Art collectors are often fascinated with the early works of their favorite artist. For those who wish to study the early stages of Thomas Kincaid's career, this is a rare opportunity to experience these images from the Robert Girard collection. A summer's morning, and Montmartre. The Robert Girard collection is a very rare group of paintings indeed. They are works from my archive that date back 15 years or more, and I'm very excited to be presenting them in printed form. This is Thomas Kincaid. Remember, the spirit of Impressionism still lives as together we share the light. God bless. <laughs>